of you to drop in, and just in time for a song. Cleaning down the red gates, watch the nights of Fincade, all the lights that smothers the sun. I can tell by the moon you'll be joining me soon as a guest in my fortress of fun. And I can't wait to see you and once again free you, release from your humorous air. Someday I will replace that big frown on your face with a smile and a murderous glare. We are two of a kind, violent, unsound of mind. You're the yin to my yang. What is up, all you comic book fans and comic book villain coming to you with another comic book haul. This is the my first haul of the new year. I would like to wish everybody a happy new year. For Hopefully everybody had a good uh, uh, New Year's uh, Eve party, whatever. Y'all didn't get too drunk or too messed up. Um, yep, this is my 151st comic book haul for January 2nd, 2019. I hope everybody makes it out to the local LCSs and gets what they want, finds they're looking for. Um, <clears throat> what you call it to get started is a it's a pretty it's a pretty healthy haul, not as big as it usually is, but it's still got one of these big old H E B looking uh, looking receipts. This is going to be everybody knows the first bag. Let me get it. 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 I got it. I got it. Okay, I got it. There is the teal bag. Quite a few books right here today, this morning. A lot of good stuff. A lot of good stuff. A lot of good stuff. So we're just going, oh, 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 man. Sorry about that, guys. I've been, I've been jacking up this camera lately. I've been hitting it a lot. You get a, you get a fucking camera stand ready. But, uh, all right, we're going to get right into it. This is, uh, <clears throat> this is Infinity Wars Infinity number one. This is, I believe it's a Mike Diodato cover, I believe it is. Of course, there's this is a Stan Lee tribute crapola. Yep, Mike Diodato Jr. And Rain Brid Br Br or something like that. Bridio. But this is a cool looking cover right there. With the Infinity Stones. Oh, hold on, hold on. I think I have too many. Yep, I sure do. I have a lot, lot of books there. One, two, three. I got like four books. I don't want them. Because then I can't put that many books before I have to change them. So that's the end. That is the Infinity Wars Infinity number one. I picked up two copies. Because you know how I do. i put those right there. All righty. Oh, I gotta find the other one, so I'll just go ahead and do this one right here. And this one right here, this one is a cool looking cover. This is uh, <clears throat> Batman, uh, Detective Batman, Detective Comics Batman, excuse me, damn it. Uh, 9.95, look, they got a little countdown thing up here. So, countdown to 1,000, I can't wait to that one right here. Murder at Wayne Manor. Alfred's still getting knocked the fuck out, look at that. Just, God damn it, somebody keeps knocking fucking Alfred out. Batman, you get it ahead out of your ass to find out. And then this is the sick looking Mark Brooks cover. Look at that. Man, that fucking love the joke. Look at Batman down there. He's coming in like he's busting in the gate. Who keeps knocking off her the fuck out? And the Joker's just laughing. <laughs> One me. And the Riddler's telling them, well, that's a riddle you have to figure out. So, can't wait to read that. Because somebody keeps punching him. So, of course, I got two copies of that. Oh, Mr. Batman. Of that beautiful cover right there. <coughs> and then this one right here. This one I picked up strictly on a first appearance. Um, this is a Savage Dragon 241. This is a first appearance... Um, of Captain Tootsie, I believe in a, I think it's a, what in a modern book. I think I said, said it was. I know it's the first appearance. I got to go back and check it out. I got a couple of Savage Dragon comic books. Ho ho ho! That bitch a ho. 
Yeah. But anyway, that is right there. Picked that one up, of course, like I said, for the first appearance. There's a couple of first appearances out this week. The Unnatural, this is the B cover right here. It's a cool looking cover, like a ghost of that wolf or whatever, like it's biting her. It's got his hand over here. This has been a pretty good read, though. I mean, like I said, this is uh, for mature readers, but there's nothing showing right there. Yeah, nothing. But anyway, I've been enjoying that Unnatural right there. And this one I picked up. This one is the Garden of the Galaxy cover. I didn't like the regular one. So I just picked up this one. This is the Uncanny X-Men number 8. And this is the one. I didn't, like I said, I didn't like the A cover. So I picked up the Garden of the Galaxy cover. Now this one right here. Um, trying to remember. This one, Tony Stark's Iron Man number 7. This is the A cover right here. I'm trying to remember. Was there a first appearance? Ah, oh, man, I forgot if there was a first appearance in this one or not. Ah. I have to double check. Ah, uh, but, uh, chingo. I forgot if it was, but anyway, I picked up two copies of that Tony Stark's Iron Man number seven. And then this one right here. This one is um, I don't I don't uh, subscribe to this one or I don't get the I don't get the the title on the regular. But since this was a um, <clears throat> a first appearance, and not a first appearance, the origin story of Mother Blood. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Uh, the origin story of Mother Blood. So I went ahead and picked this one up because I like uh, first appearances, origin stories, and stuff like that. So I picked up two copies, but they. Uh, of course at the other shop well, I didn't show the black bag but I do have the black bag because uh, this this shop they ran out at the first location so I only got to get one copy but at the second location I ended up picking up the second copy and Stranger Things the final issue of the miniseries this is 4 of 4 this is the A cover right here I believe there was 4 covers and one of them was a photo but then this is the B cover right here of, I think 11 or 8 I forgot a fucking name but uh, that is the cover right there those are the two covers that I like so I picked up those two right there let me get these out of the way real fast alrighty and then redneck number 18 came out today uh, I think something I think something happened I forgot I read the description I think some people die in this one. I'm not too sure. I forgot. But anyway. Uh, but Redneck, of course. Donny Kate. Donny Kate's a very good uh, writer. So the stories are awesome. I love this story. And then this one right here. This one is also. <clears throat> this one is Raven's Daughter, number 11. Another sick looking cover right here. That was cool. Raven's Daughter right there. Alright, now this one right here is supposed to have the first appearance, I guess, of the Bane Twins. This is Old Lady Hardy. <clears throat> the Bane Twins will break you. But anyway, yeah, this is supposed to be the first appearance, I believe, of the Bane Twins. So, can't wait to read this one. This Old Lady Harley. So, that one is good right there. And then this one, oh yeah, this is Marvel Knights number five. This is the A cover. Man, that A cover looks sweet. I just been picking up the connecting ones on this one, but this cover looked too too good to leave behind. So I picked up that one. But I do have all of these. Of course, I've picked up the connecting cover as well. This one right here. So this one is looking sweet. And so interior art is just as good. Good story as well. <clears throat> Here's a new one right here that came out today. This is The Man Without Fear. It's sweet looking A cover right there. And then they have a connecting cover. I think this is, is this Kara Andrews? I think Kara Andrews, is she's doing this connecting uh, I forgot what, I know she's doing, I think she's doing a Marvel Knights 20. 
I think that's the one she's doing, but I forgot. But anyway, but that's the connecting cover to that one. All right, here it is. <clears throat> Jughead, The Hunger Number 11 came out. This is the A cover. Look at that. This is last week's covers were freaking sick too. The A and the, the C cover. The B cover has been like, eh. It's been kind of iffy, so I haven't been picking up the B cover. But this is, see, look, there's a B cover right there. I don't know. I didn't really like it. The C cover looks better, so that's the B cover. I mean, that's the A cover right there. Excuse me. And here is the C cover. Look at that. That's like a C cover. So that Jughead, the Hunger number 11. And then, oh, this is number 6. Injustice versus Masters of the Universe number 6. This just this has just been a real good story. Real good story. Digging it. Interior art is awesome. Storyline is good. Can't beat that. When everything is story's good, interior art is good. Can't beat that. There's supposed to be another cover of this. I'm gonna have to look it up. Um, the second location I went to, I did ask him, if, but he didn't. Uh, he didn't even order none of these, so I don't even. I don't even think anybody even pre-ordered any. You know, for their for their sub box. Uh, this is um, John Carpenter's Tales of Science Fiction. There was supposed to be a two different covers. they were supposed to be. S randomly insert it oh wow look at that that is cool cool artwork so can't wait to read that one and see what that's about but uh yeah there was supposed to be a i guess it said a b i mean i don't see why i would say a b because that'd be two of them but it did say randomly insert it of course here's another one that if you're not grabbing you should be grabbing this story i think this is one of the best stories out there immortal hulk number 11 look at that Alex Ross cover suite right there. Interior art is awesome. But uh, this one, I mean, of course, I already had him pull this one, but I noticed this one was sold out on the on the uh, on the shelf when I went in the morning. They didn't have any more of these. This is uh 50th anniversary, I believe it is. It's a 50th anniversary cover. But they had they had plenty of those, but these were all gone. But like I said, they they had pulled that for me, so I already had it. I knew I already had one. Save that. All right, let's get going to the next. All right. Oh, Hex Wives number three came out. It's been pretty good. It's been pretty interesting, so I'm sticking with it right now. But uh, I don't know. I haven't seen too many people in their videos with this, but I've been digging it. Vertical has been doing pretty good with the Hex Wives. And then, uh, what you call it, which I heard they canceled because of the creator, what's his name, had some sexual harassment issues, uh, not, uh, what is it, Border Town. I heard they canceled, they, they, I don't know if it was supposed to be a six issue or something like that, but I think they canceled number five, six or whatever, but I think they're it to issue four, got to double check, but anyway. Heroes in Crisis number four. Look at this cover right here. Guess he wasn't fast enough. You gotta be fast. You gotta be fast there. Can't wait to read this one too. Look at that. Look at this interior artwork. Nice. Look at Batgirl. So, of course, I've been picking up these, the B covers as well. Been picking up both covers on that. And then here is uh, number three. Oh, where's the other one? Oh, well, I have to wait because I have to look for it. I have to find it. But anyway, this is uh, Flash number 61. This is the B cover. I didn't like the A cover, so I only picked up the B cover on this one. There she is right there. Look at that. Man, is she big. Look at that. She's like way bigger than he is. Nothing will stop me. Apparently not. And then, of course, the big one of the week that everybody was grabbing, of course, and there was plenty of them, plenty of them on the shelf because they knew to order this. Uh, Conan the Barbarian, part one. This is the A cover right here. I heard, uh, I heard the story's pretty good, so I can't wait to read it. Um, I heard they did some reviews on it last night. The people that got them, I guess... Uh, there's a couple of guys online. I know they get them early. 
And uh, so, I'm not saying who, I'm just, no, they do them, they read them, and they put their reviews kind of out there. So, I only picked up, I believe I only picked up these two covers. Yeah, these are the only two covers I picked up. This is, that was the A cover, and I believe this is the C cover. But they, they had all the covers there. They even had the incentives. They have more of the incentives to go. So, but I didn't get any of them. Just got those. And this is number three. Is this the A cover? Number three. Yes, this is the A cover. This has been a real good story. The Empty Man, number three from Boom Studios. Last week, I, the last time it came out, not last week, the last time it came out, I think there was only one cover that I like. Interior art is good. Story is good as well. Um, but this week, both covers were cool, so I had to pick it up. Look at that. She's all stitched up. So that is the Empty Man number three. And this one I picked up because this is the number one. Um, this is Champions number one. This is the A cover. Yeah, like I said, I picked it up because it's the number one. Just give it a read, see how it goes. But that is Champions number one. I think that was, that was like three, four covers maybe. I'm not too sure. But uh, I went ahead and picked up this awesome looking Scotty Young cover as well. I like that Scotty Young, so... I guess, like I said, if y'all seen some of my older videos, like I said, I don't really like his art, but it's just been growing on me. And so, I've been picking up a little bit of his stuff here and there. Oh, Scotty Young. And there it is. I was like, where the hell did it go? There it is. And Batman Beyond number 27. I think I picked it up, started picking it up again last week because I guess the story arc when uh, the the original Joker came back into the to this uh, book. So I started it up again. So this is Batman Beyond right here. Look at that cover. Nice looking cover right there. And then, of course, that sweet looking B cover right there. So I picked up those. Let me get these out of the way. Picked up those right there. And then, of course, right here, uh, let me see, oh, the winter shirt, oh, man, Harley, oh, Lady Harley, okay, Batgirl, Corm Carmen, Batgirl, there's a first appearance in here of, uh, Cormant or something like that. Forgot the name. But yeah, but there's a first appearance in here, so I picked up, of course, the A. I pick a back girl anyway. Uh, the A cover, there is the sweet looking B cover. Of course, this, I only got one cover. I usually have him pull me two, but he said he didn't have enough to go around for all his uh, subscribers. So he was only able to get me one. I said, all right, no problem. Um, one fact, of course, there was a first appearance. Plus, that's, I believe that's the last Joshua Middleton uh, on uh, Batgirl. That was going to be the, that was going to be the last one right there that he does. I mean, I'm not saying he ain't ever going to do them again, but for right now, He's uh, he's not going to be doing them. So, there's the black bag. Hold on real quick. Where the hell is that damn receipt? I don't want to lose my damn receipt. I've been losing receipts. I'll try not to. All right, let's get this off. Come on. Come on. Get off. So, what I got today was I got some boards. I'll show you right now. I think I got more stuff than I did comics this week from over there. The new previews came out today. Can't wait to see what comes out. I believe this is supposed to be for the books for March. I think March, I believe. I didn't need any yet, but I went ahead and said I better go ahead and jump a little bit ahead of the game. So, I picked up some more of my lights. And then this I didn't need because I ran out last week. I ran out of the poly bags. I had like three books. Three books that are still not bagged. 
they'll, and they'll books that are there and then I bought some boards like I said I don't need the boards right now but I went ahead and I went ahead and jumped in front of it before I'm needing them of course and then like I said I ended up since they had sold out over there on this one I ended up picking up a second copy of the origins of mother blood and the Titans number 32 and the, he had the there was two left on the shelf there at his shop so I grabbed one of them because I do did want two of these so I got another one and then of course these are the true believers Conan the barbarian so I picked up that one and there's uh, of course there was two out this week and then that one and then he gave me he gave us I guess he for free this is the or this is the 2019 calendar so it has marbles on that one for January so I'll mark down in here when the comic book days are everybody knows that's Wednesday all oh, pretty cool just showing you some of the pictures that are in here let's see what's for my bird oh let's see oh venom for October uh, spider-man for November let's see come on make it something good oh yes for December Deadpool yep that's cool that's it so he just put that in there now this was of course this was the only thing that was in my box that, that I subscribed to that came in today this is the Walking Dead 187 if any of you hope if none of y'all know in cop lingo like when the cops are on the on their radios saying there's a 137 in progress that's something at 832 in progress this is a 187 is a murder murder scene so this is the Walking Dead one. Can't wait to read this. Check that out. But like I said, that is the that's and that's all that I picked up from the second location. First location, I picked up mostly everything over there. So, but um, all right. Let's see. I'm gonna give y'all a cover of the week. Let's see. Cover of the week. Oh, I'm thinking there was a couple of nice covers, but let's see. Actually, you know what? Nothing really grabbed my attention because usually, like I said, if there was something that I just did a cover by, that was a good-looking cover. So I, it's one that I don't regularly pick up, but it was just a good cover that I had to pick it up. But so I'm going to go ahead and give cover of the week to the Josh Middleton Batgirl right there. That is a sweet-looking cover. Alrighty, guys, that is my new comic book haul for New Comic Book Wednesday of January 2nd, 2019. Like I said, I hope everybody makes it out to the local LCS today, gets what they want, finds what they're looking for. And like I said, I don't think I have anything coming in till, so I probably won't make another video till next Wednesday. Alrighty, guys, thanks to Comic Book Vending Out. Laters.